quick homesteading on the cheap idea. What I do is, um, you know, we get those nice little buckets from your, um, that you get your dishwasher stuff in and people love to give me their empty buckets because I always have a use for them. Well, what I started doing is, you know, you get all those strings off of the feed bags and you always have scraps of string left over from one thing or another if it's twine and you usually just throw it away. Well, these, the string off the feed bags, that's some nice string. So I started just collecting it and stick it in inside one of these empty buckets that I have. And I also keep like the twisty ties that come off of things and I use them at the end of the year during harvest. Like with the onions, when I put them into the pantyhose, I use the twisty ties to separate the onions inside of the old pantyhose. And the string, I use to tie my herbs onto a hanger so that they can dry. So hold on. And All right, so I take the string and I cut it in half because it's, they're very long off of feed bags. And like I said, feed bag ones, but you can get them, you get string just about anywhere. And I take my herbs that I've already rinsed in cold water and kind of patted a little bit dry and I just wrap the string around so I'm going to let these air dry I'm not going to put them in the dehydrator because it will preserve the flavor better if I air dry them just tie this on here And I wrap it around a couple of times to make sure it's good and strong. Hanging it on there. Very good. And then I'm going to take another free item, and that's the wire hanger. This is the one time when a wire hanger is okay. So I save the wire hangers and I use them to hang my herbs off of. So I just take the string on the other side. Wrap it around several times, tie it, and voila, you have an herb hanger. And I'll just do the rest down of them. I usually can get four or five in there and leave enough space in between for them to dry. Just a little idea. More homesteading. So once your herbs are all hung, they'll look kind of like this. And you can hang them up in a doorway or anywhere you want. I just happen to have this big old cabinet in here, so I hung them up in here. And it smells absolutely lovely in the living room. <laughs>